Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It feels like a century between podcasts. Some of that is because the ones I had uploaded a few weeks ago, some of those were you know stored. Some of those were saved, and I had a, a pot, if you will, of just content ready to deliver. And as of late, it has been difficult to find time. I mean, my my time and the things that I do on a regular basis ebb and flow to a small degree, but productivity is still incredibly high. Um, What I get done on a weekly basis is would probably surprise some of you. Um, With that said, finding time once again to to record this, to be in the right headspace, to have the right type of mindset, it's, it's becoming incredibly challenging. So my apologies if either I end up putting out more content and it's not like what I would want it to be or maybe I just put out less content. I haven't decided yet. But um, before I kind of sneak into the topic here, one thing I will say is if you guys like the interview style podcast, if you don't know what I'm talking about, last week's podcast, I interviewed Matthew. We basically just nerded out on Star Wars talk. And I don't often get opportunities to just sit down and just nerd out you know just to be able to relax and 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 just have talk about fandom and that's one thing that was fun about last week's podcast or maybe two weeks ago now and because of that um, it did have a different feel for me when I'm talking about the content it had a different I don't know overall mood to it if you will but I still enjoyed it and and I would like to do more of those just just the the back and forth, maybe Q and A, Q and A, yeah, Q and A stuff, questions and answers. That would be fun to do a little bit more of. Uh, but for sure, I'd love to do interviews. So if you know me or have heard this podcast and don't know me, but would like to talk about something, hit me up. I'm always open for ideas. Always interested in getting people's perspective on things, even if they don't uh, match my own. I'm always very interested in getting other people's perspective. As I mentioned a million times on this podcast already, but I'll do so once more. It is great to be able to get other people's perspective on life because we all get to only live one life. Um, And if you believe in reincarnation, um, I, I still think you have to admit that you don't get to remember your previous life and the lessons you learned. So in theory, you're probably only living one life. So anyways, I digress. Ultimately, my point is I love to talk to people about different aspects of of different things in life, especially things I haven't gotten to experience myself. So if you have any of those things yourself, reach out to me. We'll make something work. Today, as I was telling you, I was having a challenging time trying to find a topic. And I have some written, but some of those are, are very, how should I say this, very like thought provoking. I need to sit down and really think about those for a bit and that's difficult right because I've mentioned to you folks a million times like my time is quite limited these days and because of that it I don't have the type of time I used to have where I can sit down and contemplate and really think through things and really analyze a, a non-tangible subject that really deals with high-level thinking I mean, I try to still have a thought-oriented approach to life, especially when it comes down to making decisions that aren't always easy. But having the time to philosophize, is that a word? To think about different philosophical stances on things. I mean, though, though that is a gift for me at the moment. Right? I remember the days when we were all young and probably going to school, didn't have any responsibilities apart from schoolwork and maybe doing a few chores around the house. And I remember feeling bored at times when I was young. And I don't know what that feels like anymore. (laughs) The idea of being bored, that idea is so alien to me now, but at the same time, you know, there was times where in my more adult phase or in, in my, you know, adulthood, I, I didn't necessarily get bored because there's always something to do, but there was times where you could sit down and, and say, ah, well, I'd like to be doing this, but I just don't have the time to do it, right? I have real responsibilities. That's most of where 
if you're an adult, you likely live in. But now it's at a point where I'm so incredibly busy that I have to be incredibly strategic with my time. As I say this, I'm recording this podcast while driving. And I'm still doing this as a one take. Pat in the back there. Anyways, um, ultimately, I'm I'm having to be efficient with my time. And while um, I no longer get bored because I don't have time to be bored, this is something different, right? This is something where I'm getting to maximize my time frame because otherwise y'all won't have any content there's a lot of things in my life right now that are likely not going to get done if i don't try to maximize my time in every aspect possible that's talking about my work my 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 commute my um fitness my projects i mean all the things i'm doing need to be prioritized and and semi-scheduled and slotted in whenever I can find a few little moments here and there to get things done so that was a that was a very long speech to basically say that those those deeper topics those harder topics that I would love to be able to sit down and really analyze and think through things those are harder things to do right now because I don't have the time to like sit down and 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 drink a cup of coffee and, and really just think on a borderline philosophical level about high level topics that maybe will in turn turn into a lesson or an idea to bring forth to this podcast but anyways um, because I'm having that challenge one of the one of the things I was thinking about the other day that did come to mind but I was in an, in an opportune time to record aka at work um, I was thinking about and some of you are rolling your eyes and know I have this little mini recorder I take with me almost like a security blanket. It's just hard to step away because lately work has been incredibly busy where I'm literally one after another after another after another where my eight plus 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 hour days feel like two to give you an example. But back to the topic. One of the things I was thinking about at work today the other day was I, I work and come across and meet a lot of very educated people and they have high level degrees they they PhDs MBAs doctorates whatever and very very awarded people I guess I would call it well what's a better way of saying that people that have committed to a high level of education and have accomplished it and I also meet people that literally lives depend on their abilities to do things and so, it may, it, but, but in talking to these people, it's really fascinating because they're not all bright. <laughs> that's, that's kind of mean in a way, but it's not meant to say that they're dumb. They're not dumb. They're intelligent. Uh, but I think there's levels to the game, as I mostly talk about in this podcast. To me, to me... There is a far, far, far different thing when we're talking about all of these different aspects. You can be can I, smart, right? You can you can be naturally smart. You could be a person that naturally picks things up. I heard of a, a little girl recently uh, from Mexico City that um, has a higher IQ than, than Einstein. Einstein and somebody else. But anyways, has a higher IQ and also is able to um, and she's only like 15 or no actually younger than that so my point to this saying like you could be smart I would define that as 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 intelligent right she's naturally gifted in that she's she just was born with it It, and there is certain gifts that people are born with and they're not all the same and she's likely one of those that she's just very smart And once again, like these aren't hard set definitions, but that's how I'm defining them, at least for this podcast. There are other people who are intelligent. I would define them as like the people who who have developed a level of intelligence, if you will, via their consumption of information and education. Those are those are the people that you took them through a nursing program and in that nursing program you develop them to be a nurse and they are intelligent in that field and they are capable and they are responsible honestly for saving people's lives 
And so that's another, another level of it. The third piece, the third type I would define is wisdom. Wisdom is acquired, in my opinion, through different things. A lot of it is a lot of self idealization A lot of it is through experiences, through hardships. Um, those are things that are sometimes only acquired after a active want to developing an idea, your brain, your, your comprehension, but also sometimes through being a byproduct of your circumstances of life. Um, you could be a person that has gone through a tremendous life experience, right? I, I recently heard a podcast, not recently, years, a year ago probably, heard that podcast on Rogan where that woman who was from, I want to say North Korea, she escaped from North Korea and she was talking about the type of, of living she was doing and, and so, and, and now she lives in the U.S. and she talks about the pros and cons of that type of um, um, society. And, and that's a person to me that is likely wise based on her experiences and how she's able to alliterate exactly what her experiences were, the greater scope of what those things mean, and, and what that means for society as a whole. That's that sometimes you are imparted wisdom through sometimes difficult situations. And so if we take the three definitions of what I just told you, I mean, hopefully I did a good job of explaining to you exactly what those things meant mean in my head and, and what, how to differentiate each of them. And the, the whole reason for doing this is that I think for me, people sometimes misconstrue one for the other for the other and think they are very um, smart or intelligent just based on their regurgitation of a few little details here and there from whatever news source they pick. Or they think they're smart and intelligent because they have um, X degree, right? And depending on the circumstances and depending on the type of person you're trying to be and depending on the lifestyle you're trying to have and depending on the readiness and preparedness that you're trying to have in this life, whether it's through your career and educational means, whether it's your ability to def take care of yourself and defend yourself, whether you want to be a street smart style person, you need to leverage each of those, um, how should I say, those um, types of intelligences that, in a way that would benefit you. And so that to me is this week's podcast. This week's podcast is basically discussing these types of um, attributes, if you will, these types of ways of measuring. Realize where you're putting your eggs in your basket, where your strengths and your weaknesses are, and what you're trying to progress, and be very clear about that. Just because you have X degree doesn't necessarily mean that you are naturally smart, or just because you have um, this sort of skill doesn't mean you're necessarily wise. And, and be aware that even for this podcast or any other podcast you're getting knowledge and education from and 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 life lessons from are you have to really dissect those a little bit as to where that person's coming from what stance are they coming from whether they're coming from a just a naturally smart person that says live things and maybe has a, a hint of wisdom or or maybe it's a person that's just wise because of their experiences and, and you have to dissect that on whether or not those are applicable for your life or whether it's a person that has a, a an intelligence due to their study in an X field and they're trying to tell you about the field, but they've researched the field, right? These are all things to think of, keep in mind when you're talking with people. And, and, and these are also skills you could apply to your day-to-day -day with your coworkers, your friends, the people they're trying to give you advice. But that's my little thought for today. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a interesting. I hope this was worth your time. I'm always up for comments, questions, topics flow to my way. Thank you for listening. I am Life Generalist and this is Curious John.